As Republicans are duking it out of who's going to be the next Speaker of the House, the White House throws in a jab saying this, White House says GOP making cutting Social Security a priority amid speakership fights, specifically saying this, House Republicans may have spent the last a week at each other's throats, but cutting Social Security Medicare continues to be one proposal that truly unites their conference. Now, this comes as the White House has said this many times, Democrats have said this, although no official proof, no official bill saying that Social Security is going to be cut. But speaking of cuts, we take a look at this article, retirees in these 12 states risk losing some of their Social Security checks. I'm going to let you know if you're in one of those states, what to be aware of and what could happen to your social security check and i'll give you some other important updates as well before i dive into the main content if you appreciate these updates hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more social security updates regarding increases decreases bills proposals and this video is sponsored by my company y sense if you or anyone you know is looking to increase your credit score uh, and remove negative items from the report i got a link down in the description below contact me and i can help you out all right let's get into it white house says is GOP making uh, cutting Social Security a priority amid speakership fights. So as the Republicans duke it out and constantly fighting with each other, who's going to be the next Speaker of the House? Uh, it's almost like a WrestleMania match. Uh, the Democrats and the White House are poking fun and basically saying this, as I mentioned before, House Republicans may have spent the past week at each other's throats, but cutting Social Security and Medicare continues to be one proposal that truly unites their conference. Now, when it comes to saying one proposal, the only place where it says Social Security might be cut, not actually cut, but might be cut, is in the budget proposal by the Republicans. Besides that, there's no bill or anything like that that is saying Republicans are going to cut Social Security. It follows reporting from uh, reps, <clears throat> excuse me, Jody Arrington and Steve Scalise support setting up a bipartisan commission to address the national debt, including looking at Social Security and Medicare programs. Scalise defeated Jim Jordan in the conference's internal vote um, and uh, what they're basically saying here is cutting Social Security and Medicare is a priority that House Republicans will let outlive their leadership. The White House memo said it highlighted that Republican Budget Committee's model federal budget for fiscal 2023 included increasing Social Security eligibility age to reflect longevity saying uh, President Biden has been crystal clear. No matter who leads the House Republican conference, he won't let them cut one penny from America's hard-earned retirement benefits. Biden earlier this year had a back and forth with House Republicans during his State of the Union address, during which he warned that some Republicans wanted to cut Social Security and Medicare. He vowed he would veto any such effort, remarks that elicited boos and jeers from many GOP lawmakers in attendance who argued it was not true. So this has been going back and forth for a while, uh, and Republicans constantly saying, no, it's not going to happen. Democrats and Biden saying, yes, it is going to be cut. What do we take from this? Well, it's not official until it's, until we see any legislation saying that Social Security is going to be cut, which hasn't been presented yet. So until then, it's just a bunch of political back and forth talk. Uh, but what is going on here is retirees in these 12 states risk losing some of their Social Security checks. Let's get into this. So uh, many retirees are heavily reliant on Social Security to fund their retirement. Nearly 6 in 10 say it's a major source of income, according to Gallup poll. So losing some of that Social Security check could put a major dent in retirement plans for many Americans. 12 states currently tax Social Security benefits for at least some residents, depending on income level. That means some retirees living in those states could lose some of their monthly benefits as a result, but that doesn't mean you should uh, avoid retiring in those 12 states. So how are Social Security benefits being taxed? If we look here, taxable portions of benefits up to 50% if, uh, if 25,000 to 34,000, uh, for single filer combined income, or thirty-two thousand to forty-four thousand for joint filer combined income, and then it could be up to eighty-five percent for thirty-four thousand and up for single filers, and forty-four thousand and up for joint filers. So there's no escape.
escaping this tax no matter what state you live in. Uh, but when it comes to the other 12 states, it's important to note that each state has its own rules and tax rates for Social Security. 38 states don't tax Social Security at all. 12 states have some policies in place that tax Social Security benefits for at least some residents, depending on income level. So let's go over those states right now. We're going to do this in alphabetical order. Colorado, some taxpayers will owe 4.4% on some of their Social Security benefits. However, that's limited to retirees under the age of 65 with more than $20,000 in taxable benefits on their federal income tax return. Only the, abo the amount above that threshold is taxed. Retirees 65 and older are able to avoid state taxes on their Social Security benefits. Let's talk about Connecticut. Connecticut taxpayers with adjusted gross income above $75,000 for single filers or $100,000 for joint filers will owe income tax between 5.5% and 6.99% on up to 25% of their Social Security benefits. Kansas. Taxpayers with an adjusted gross income above $75,000 will owe a 5.7% tax on their federally taxable Social Security benefits. Minnesota. Taxpayers can deduct up to $5,840 in Social Security benefits from their taxable income. Those with combined income exceeding a certain threshold will see a reduced deduction. Taxpayers owe between 6.8% and 9.85% on their taxable benefits. Missouri. Taxpayers with an adjusted gross income exceeding $85,000 for single filers or $100,000 for joint filers will owe a tax of 5.4% on any portion of Social Security income exceeding those thresholds. M Missouri will stop taxing Social Security in 2024. So only a few months for that. Then we have got Mon Montana. Taxpayers with an adjusted gross income exceeding $25,000 for single filers and $32,000 for joint filers will owe a 6.75% tax on up to 85% of their Social Security income. Nebraska. Any Social Security Income that's taxable at the federal level is also considered taxable income in Nebraska. Most taxpayers owing tax on Social Security will owe 3.51% and 6.84% on the taxable portion of their benefits. The state is phasing out Social Security taxation by 2025. New Mexico. Taxpayers with adjusted gross incomes exceeding $100,000 for single filers or $150,000 for joint filers will owe taxes of between 4.9% and 5.9% of their Social Security benefits. Rhode Island. Taxpayers with an adjusted gross income exceeding $95,800 for single filers or $119,750 for joint filers will owe a tax between 4.75% and 5.99% on their Social Security benefits subject to federal income tax. Then we got Utah. Taxpayers with an adjusted gross income exceeding $45,000 for single filers or $75,000 for joint filers will pay a 4.65% tax on their Social Security benefits. Vermont. Taxpayers with an adjusted gross income exceeding $50,000 for single filers or $65,000 for joint filers will owe a tax between 3.35% and 8.7% on at least a portion of their Social Security benefits. West Virginia, taxpayers with an adjusted gross in with gross incomes exceeding $50,000 for single filers or $100,000 for joint filers will owe a tax of 5.12% on their federally taxable so, uh, Social Security income. So basically, don't avoid these states. If you're looking to retire or if you live in any of these states, you could see that is mainly if you make a higher amount of money than those thresholds, then you would have to pay a higher tax. Meanwhile, the other 38 states aren't taxing Social Security at all, which as I mentioned there, a few of those states are actually phasing out the taxes on Social Security benefits. Social Security should not be taxed anymore uh, because it's a double tax. They're 
people uh, paying into Social Security, uh, like yourself, you've paid into it after your tax, uh, after your your after tax money is going into Social Security, then you get to Social Security and you get taxed again. So there are bills and proposals in Congress right now getting rid of the double tax. Uh, so I'll keep you updated more on that when it comes to taxing Social Security and any other type of cuts. Stay tuned for that and subscribe to the channel for more on Social Security updates. Uh, and that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully cheer you up a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Oh, hi guys, I didn't see you there. Uh, just so you know, you guys are so, you guys are, you guys are great to me. You guys are special to me. I need you here beside me. And you are so nice. Do you know why? Cause, cause you're so nice right now. You're giving me a lot of subscribing. And I love it. Mwah. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your support with the COLA announcement out. A lot of people are curious what would have happened if President Biden had his way and had and he was able to change the COLA to what he wanted. Uh, well, I actually have that number and you're not going to want to miss that. So click that video right up here now and you can see what President Biden's prediction of COLA or what he would have had it B, instead of the measly 3.2%, it's actually a little higher. You can see that. Uh, click that video right up there, as well, as well as here is what's going on in Congress for Social Security. So click that video, and I'll see you in that video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.